Hey, welcome back to Cocktail Cards. Today we're gonna to show you how to make the national drink of Brazil, the Caipirinha. So while this drink is pretty simple in and of itself, there are quite a different variations I've seen people do on this drink. Now, I'm just gonna duplicate what I learned having this drink served to me in South American countries, sitting on the beach with the Caparina guy, walking around, making this drink for you because it is so delicious. And uh, yeah, so there might be different interpretations, shaken versus stirred, all, all sorts of different stuff. So I'm just gonna show you the way that it was shown to me, and I like to just replicate it that way because it's, it's incredible. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the drink. Now, the main ingredient here is what's called cachaça. Now, cachaça is a type of rum, but there's a couple differences that they do in Brazil in order for this to be made cachaça. So the rum you're used to drinking is made from molasses. That's a byproduct from making sugar. It's a dark syrup that's kind of left over from the process. Now, if you get cachaça, it's actually made from the fresh cane juice. So there's no uh, kind of byproduct that you're making this from. You're making it from the fresh juice. Now, this is going to add an extra flavor. I don't know if you've ever been able to taste fresh cane, but it has kind of an herbal grassy flavor. And that really shows in the cachaça. So it's a very unique flavor, a little different than the typical rum that you're probably used to. Uh, but in this drink, it really adds a really cool complexity to it. So uh, next we're going to need a lime for fresh lime juice. And it's really going to be really integrated into this drink. And we'll jump into that. And next year I need some super fine sugar. I sometimes like to do this with Demerara sugar. However, I think most often when you find it, it's going to be made with super fine white sugar. So I figured I'd just use that for this video. And they're both super delicious either way you go on that so let's go ahead and jump in and talk about how to make the drink so I'm gonna be serving this in a double rocks glass traditionally they're served in kind of these v-shaped short glasses I don't really have any of those so a double rocks glass will work just fine and uh, I've even had them served in paper cups before so yeah don't don't worry about the glassware too much uh, but I will be using a rocks glass and I'm gonna be building this drink out in my rocks glass and I'm actually gonna give it a short shake. So when I've had these in South American countries, this drink has always been shaken for me. However, it's become kind of popular, at least here in the States, to stir the drink. I've done it both ways. I honestly like it with a couple shakes. So I'm gonna be doing it that way, but feel free to you know build it out in your glass and just stir instead of shake. So let's go ahead and jump in and make this drink. So the first thing we gotta do is prep an entire lime. So what we gotta do is get rid of the pith and any pith flavors you might get in this drink. So what I have seen them do is first we're going to cut off the edges of the lime here. Okay, and if you have some pith right here, go ahead and cut a little bit further. We wanna get it to where it's nice and clean without any pith on the end. So this is gonna be perfect for this. And the very next step we're gonna do is actually cut around the lime. Now, now you don't have to be super precise on cutting off the pith, but I'm telling you, all the best copper is I had, the guy always did this. It was, it seemed very traditional to me. I've heard a lot of people uh, kind of back that story. So I continue to do it. I think it gives a nice, brighter, uh, more pure lime flavor. So I'm just gonna cut off the pith there. And next we're gonna take this and just cut the lime in half. Now, what you're left with, you're gonna have these little white pith lines right here in the middle. And we're just gonna to wanna to cut that out. So I'm gonna do one little slice on one side and one slice on the other. And we should be able, after a couple more slices here, this should pop out, there we go. So we're gonna leave that aside. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other line. Okay, so once that is done, that is all discard there. And now you've prepped your limes. And next we're going to take this lime and we're just gonna kind of quarter it, okay? So one, two, and then cut it this way. Perfect, we're gonna cut it here and cut it here. So now we have these quarters. If you do have any skin left on your lime, that's totally fine. Just try and leave it to where the skin side is facing down in your glass. 
That way when you muddle this drink, uh, it's gonna get mostly juice and very, very little pith uh, kind of squeezed out of the lime. So there you go. Make sure any pith or any skin is facing down on this drink. And now we're gonna grab some sugar. And I kid you not, on the beach when I see people uh, making this cocktail for me, uh, they have these bottles and they just kind of just chug the sugar in there. So they like to go pretty heavy on the sugar. I think a really good balance is about one teaspoon of sugar. Do remember, there's an entire lime in this drink. So you do want to balance that out a little bit. So I like to do one tape, sorry, not teaspoon, one tablespoon of our sugar here and go ahead and just kind of toss it all over that lime. Perfect. All right, next you're gonna grab your muddler and we're just gonna push down and give it a firm yet gentle uh, muddle here, you know, like a good parent, firm but gentle. And we're just gonna kind of work out any lime juice we can get in here. You don't wanna go super hard. You don't want the bitterness of the pit to really come out. We're just trying to, to release all those lime juices and kind of work them in with that sugar here. So go ahead and work this for a little bit, be nice and careful, and just kind of try and get a good lime juice extraction out of here. All right, I think that is perfect right there. I'm going to discard all my lime skins. All right, I'm gonna clean my board. Good bartender always keeps his bar clean. All right, now it's time to add the booze. So let's go ahead and add two ounces of cachaça. Now let's go ahead and grab some ice and we're just gonna give this a quick little four to five second shake here. Now again, at this point, you probably see a lot of bartenders or people kind of just stir this drink before serving it to you. That's totally fine. If you guys want to do it that way, I absolutely you know, recommend at least trying it. But again, I've always had it shaken to me uh, kind of when I've been on the beach and it's made for me. So I like to give it a quick little shake for about four to five seconds. And it's really convenient. You know, my rocks glass can actually fit in your my shaker tin. Uh, if you want to take your drink and put it into a separate shaker, shake it up and then dump it back into your glass, that also works as well. And that's it. So we're going to take this and just dump the whole drink right back in. And that, my friends, is a Capriani. Mm, that is good. That brings back memories. Uh, that tablespoon of sugar is perfect. There's a whole lime in here, so it is gonna be a tart drink. But uh, yeah, you add that tablespoon, it'll really balance out the cocktail. So, you know, don't be shy with that sugar. And that cachaza really, really shines through in this drink. It is, you know, it's grassy, it's very nature forward flavor in it because of that fresh cane juice that this is made from. And I'm telling you, it's really, really awesome in this drink. So one of my favorite stories with this drink is, you know, down in South America, I've had this drink and, you know, it's, it's something like it takes a minute for you to kind of get used to the flavors. And after I tried it, I actually heard Anthony Bourdain explain this drink because it's his favorite drink. And he would always explain it as, you know, after your first sip, you're kind of thinking, hmm. I don't know, man, there's some weird stuff going on here. But after your second sip, you start to realize, yeah, this is actually a pretty good drink. And then after your third sip, you'll go straight into, where's my pants? Because <laughs> you will be just like, once you get used to this drink, it goes down so fast, it's so good, and it just makes you feel good. I don't know what to tell you, it makes you feel good, it reminds me of being on the beach. So yeah, there you are, the Catherine.
Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Capareña recipe, the national drink of Brazil. I would love to know in the comments if you've ever had this drink. And all of you watching, if there's any of you from Brazil, please tune in. How did we do? How close was I? Uh, I watched with a pretty astute eye when I was traveling and I had this drink made for me many times. This is definitely my favorite way to make it. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. I'd love to have some feedback on this cocktail. Either way, no matter how you make it, it's gonna be delicious. It's a great combo. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'm AJ with Cocktail Cards and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.